Hi, I'm Rick with Best Top. I'm here to walk you through the installation of the Best Top Trek Top Pro on your Jeep Wrangler. So the first step is going to be removing whatever top you have installed on your Jeep. In this case, we have a hard top on this Jeep Unlimited. We're going to go ahead and use the Best Top Hard Top Organization and Storage System, or the Haas Cart, to store that safely out of the way. Uh, first thing you got to do is remove the Freedom Panels. If your Jeep came with the hard top installed like this one did, the wiring harness and the fluid delivery hose will already be installed. If you have a soft top only Jeep, these parts aren't installed at the factory, so you'll have to contact Mopar or go through an authorized dealer or distributor to get the replacement parts installed for you. The Trek Top Pro comes with a hard glass back window. This is the wiring harness on the vehicle that will be used to operate the available accessory rear wiper motor. And this is the fluid delivery system for the washer nozzle. So now that we've got the hard top removed or the soft top, depending on which kind of Jeep you've got installed, just want to make sure that you notice there's no door surrounds, there's no pivot brackets, there's nothing left on the vehicle that will be required for installing the Trek Top Pro. So the Trek Top Pro is going to be very similar to the Trek Top NX. We're going to have door rails that we use to seal off against the door. Um, but in this case, we have some new components that are really what makes the Trek Top Pro unique. These components here are what we call the halo. It comprises the frame that is on the rear of the Jeep that holds the hard glass window in place. Those are going to be supported by the halo frame. Uh, at the back, arch bows that help support the top when it's installed on the vehicle. So these parts here are what hold up the rest of the Trek Top Pro. Uh, we have some cable brackets, uh, Sunrider pivot mounts, hardware, a seal kit, knobs for your door surround, lower strut brackets, main mount brackets, the jumper harness that's used to attach the vehicle wiring harness to the defroster grid on the rear hard glass. We have some seals that seal around the hard glass. We have some extrusion we call window carriers. These are really unique in that they support the quarter windows for the Trek Top Pro without requiring to use any zippers. Uh, last few items, gas struts for the rear glass and side bows for your Sunrider feature on the Trek Top Pro. For installation of the Trek Top Pro, you're going to need a sharp knife a ratchet, an extension will be helpful. You'll want to have a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter socket. I also recommend you have the same size wrenches to make it a little easier to do the installation. And the last few items you'll need will be a screwdriver with a 4 millimeter and Phillips tip. Uh, the only real pre-assembly we're going to do to the Trek Top Pro is attaching the spring bucket to the window carriers. Repeat that step for both sides. You'll see that the bracket is designed in a way that it fits neatly into the channel. Now we're going to install the rear brackets to the rear of the four-door vehicle here. You have to undo and unzip the sport bar cover to access the bolts on the rear. To install the rear bracket, you want to make sure that the two holes are level with the ground. Line everything up because you will have to cut a slit in the sport bar cover to install these so that it looks neat when you're done.
Now, when you begin installing all the brackets, you'll notice that everything is slotted, which allows for some variation in fit from vehicle to vehicle. This is important because you may have to come back and adjust some of these fasteners to get everything to fit tightly from side to side. So while I'm tightening these down, I'm only going until they're snug to make sure that if I do need to make any adjustments, I can adjust it and then tighten them when I'm done. Make sure you repeat the step on both sides of the vehicle. So the next step is going to be to install the door surrounds. This is the left side door surround for the rear of the vehicle and you can tell it's the rear because it has the downward leg. Position the C-shaped feature at the top and a small feature at the bottom goes into a hole on the Jeep. Make sure that you align the seals neatly in the front and it's not folded. Now we're going to install the front door surround. The front is designated with the single C piece. It's just straight and all the seals up here go to the front. It goes around the sport bar and once again be careful when you're installing it to make sure that the seals on the vehicle are not folded underneath. Now we're going to install the doorknobs that secure the door surround to the Jeep. The long one goes in the front and the back. You may have to adjust it a little bit to get the threads to line up. I'm going to do the back next. And in the center, you have to attach the bracket over the boss on the door surround. That's what's going to hold your Sunrider feature when you have the top installed. When you are installing the Sunrider bracket, watch because there is a right and a left and you need to make sure that all of the features line up with the door surround. Now repeat the steps on the other side of the Jeep. Our next step is going to be installing the window carriers to the side of the Jeep. Now you'll notice if you look down here that there is a right and a left and the way you tell the difference is the spring bracket and the molded detail go towards the front of the vehicle so this is going to be for the left side. To install the window carrier to the Jeep, you use a 4 millimeter Allen head with a 10 millimeter wrench to attach the bolt. Use the center holes, leaving the rear two open for the rear halo attachment. Make sure you attach both bolts to the bracket and just start these finger tight. You'll come back and you'll tighten everything up at the end after you get the installation complete so that you can adjust for any variation. Repeat the steps on the opposite side. When installing the halo frame, you may have to make some adjustments to the position of the bracket. So don't forget, we've got these fasteners that were slotted so that you can make some changes if you need to. This is the halo frame. This is the piece that holds up the halo and the hard glass rear window at the back. For this next step, you may need a friend to help you do the installation. When you're installing the halo frame, make sure you put it up to the inside of the window carrier and you'll have that in the position for both sides. When you're installing these fasteners, you're going to use the same 4 millimeter Allen drive and a 10 millimeter wrench. Remember, when you're adjusting and tightening all of these, just get them finger tight so that you can adjust them when you need to during the final installation. Now we're going to position the rear halo onto the frame. It helps to have someone assist you for this step. You want to place it on the frame with the notch out for the hinge on the hard rear glass facing down. Now we're going to install the right and left halo. What's important about this piece is you'll see there's a little tab here that goes into the window carrier and two holes that line up to the frame on the center halo piece. When you install the rear halo, make sure you use the longer bolts. It's going to go through all three pieces, including the halo frame in the back. Just remember to get these snug in case you have to adjust it for the final installation. Repeat the same steps on the opposite side. Now we're going to install the lower strut brackets. There are right and left versions of the bracket and you tell the difference by the little ball stud that goes to the inside when it's installed. 
There's a little hook on the bottom that goes under the sheet metal of the Jeep and the holes line up to the halo. Use the same 4 millimeter Allen and 10 millimeter wrench to tighten everything down. You may need to adjust these before you finish the installation as well. Now you're going to attach the bolt at the bottom of the halo. Sometimes it's easier if you put the bolt in from the bottom up. Use a 13 millimeter wrench and socket to tighten it down. We're going to repeat the same steps on the opposite side of the Jeep, attaching the lower strut bracket and the lower halo bolt. Your Trek Top Pro kit comes with two weather seals, one that goes on the bottom of the rear glass back window and one that's used for attaching to the halo to provide a weather tight seal. To install the halo seal, make sure that the angle cut matches to the Jeep. Start at the bottom and work your way about halfway up on both sides before you do the middle. It's important you start on the ends and then go to the middle towards the corner. That's how you make sure it gets nice and tight. Now we're going to install the rear window and it's the rear tempered glass window that really makes the Trek Top Pro unique. What you have is the hinges that attach on the halo at the back. It comes with three rubber grommets installed in holes that are provided to install an optional rear wiper motor accessory kit that's available for purchase separately. On the inside of the glass, you can see it comes with a defrost grid and the terminals already attached for installation with your existing wiring harness for your hardtop Jeep that you're converting. Remember, if you're using a soft top vehicle, you have to have the OE wiring harness installed. Check your local Jeep dealer for that, or you can purchase an aftermarket accessory offered by Best Top for the heater grid only. The brackets are for attaching the gas struts that hold the glass open when you're getting in and out the back of the Jeep. So this is tempered glass, but we recommend that you have a helper assist you put it on the Jeep. When you install the upper rear hinge, you might find sometimes the holes need a little adjustment to line up. I'll use a screwdriver and just try and put it through the hole in the halo and the frame to get those in the right position. And then you can put the screws right in. After you get the window installed, take a step back and look at it to make sure that it's centered all the way around the opening. If you need to adjust it, you can move a little bit on the top. There's some adjustment in the slots, but you want to make sure that the seal is tight all the way around. Our next step is going to be attaching the gas strut to the upper strut bracket, and then attach the lower strut bracket. You may have to adjust this a little bit to get everything to line up. Attach the other strut bracket in the same way. Now we're going to install the rear seal on the glass and just like the halo seal, there's a U-shape that goes onto a flange and a bulb seal. When you install the seal, the U goes onto the flange, start on both ends and work to the middle to make sure that it aligns on the outboard side. Now we're going to install some seals onto the tailgate. There's going to be two of them. One goes to the top and one goes to the bottom. Install the foam seals on the other side of the tailgate. Now you're ready to go around and look at the vehicle and look for any spots where you need to make some adjustments to get a nice tight fit then tighten all your fasteners down when you're satisfied. Now we're going to install the arch bows. 
I want to make sure you notice that they're labeled for the position in the vehicle. And the ones that go in the center come with a protective layer of paper that you can peel off and throw away. To install the arch bows, start on the opposite side of the vehicle and make sure the foot goes into the hoop on the door surround and then install the one on your side. It'll help if you put a little upward pressure in the middle when you're installing the outboard side. Repeat the step on the rear. To install the arch bow at the rear, we're up on top looking down. I want to point out that you'll notice this looks a little different than the other two. You want to make sure that the bar fits neatly inside the plastic piece on the window carrier. To do that, you might have to bend it a little bit to get it in position. And then make sure it's nice and snug so it doesn't rattle. The arch bows provide support of the fabric across the Jeep. And there's a front, middle, and rear made exactly to the specifications to fit the vehicle. Now we're going to get ready to install the deck onto your Trek Top Pro. Before we do, I just wanted to show you a couple of the pieces. We call this the header, which holds it down at the windshield, the windshield latch. And there is a tension spring that's installed and sewn right into the deck that will help keep it nice and tight when it's installed. To begin the installation of the side bows for your Sunrider feature, you have to remove the screws on the outboard ends. Do the same for both sides. The four-door Trek Top Pro comes with the Sunrider side bows included in the kit. You'll have to install those to the header. There's a spring-loaded, quick-release pivot on one end and holes pre-drilled on the other. You're going to install the side bow into the header with the spring release pointed to the inside. Slide it into the opening and align the holes. The screws you'll use to attach it are a little different than the ones that you took out for the plastic on the sides. Don't mix those up. To complete the installation of the side bow, you need to fold that over and there's two more holes to attach on the top side. That makes sure that the side bow and the header are held tightly together. Repeat for both sides before reattaching the fabric to the bottom of the header. Reinstall the fabric to the bottom side of the header. Reuse the screws that you took out in the previous step. Make sure they go through the stamping that holds the cable tension spring to the side of the header. Repeat the step for both sides. Now we're going to put some of the seals on to the header to help you seal on the windshield. And you'll notice there's a right and a left and they align with the cutout in the back for the tube and the notch for the tab on the side of the header. There's also two seals included, one of which goes on the leading edge. Align it to the tab and then just go straight across. Don't forget to install the seals on the other side. Now we're ready to attach the deck and header assembly to the door rails on your Jeep. Now you'll install the Sunrider side bow to the pivot bracket with the quick release plunger. Put it on, make sure that that plunger gets all the way in so you know that it's going to be secure. It's important to remember to clip both sides. Now we're going to install the cable tension spring. Make sure you guide the wire under the guide screw and then hook it to the bracket on the window carrier. Repeat on the other side. Before we finish installing the deck, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about the Trek Top Pro quarter windows. What's really neat about the Trek Top Pro is it includes tempered glass side panels 
with a locking panel for the rear window that you can open to provide ventilation in the back of the Jeep. Another unique feature of the Trek Top Pro quarter window is that it comes with retainers on all four sides to attach it to your Jeep without requiring any zippers. We're going to install the quarter window by starting at the top, installing the round retainer into the slot at the top of the halo into the window carrier. Now we're going to install the retainer at the front of the quarter window. Now this retainer is a little bit different. It has a 90 degree angle and it fits inside of a channel that runs down the full length of the door surround. You install that by rolling it into the channel. You know you've got it right when you only see one stitch line. If you see two, you still need to roll it in. Now we're going to install the retainer at the bottom of the quarter window. That retainer works by tucking it inside the channel along the belt line of the Jeep. I recommend always starting at the front and working towards the back. When you get to the back, there's another retainer that's made to go around the corner. Tuck that into the channel to the outside. The last retainer on the quarter window is the long piece that goes up inside a channel on the halo. I recommend you start at the bottom, tuck it into place, and roll it in as you go to the top. Now we're going to repeat the steps on the other side of the Jeep. I always recommend you work from the front to the back. Now we're going to install the retainer at the rear of the deck. It fits into a groove just like the retainer on the back of the quarter window. You'll notice there's two notches that are in the retainer cut out to make room for the hinge. At this point, the header should be back and the Sunrider should still be open to make it easier to install all the retainers on the side and the rear. To install the side, pull it forward and put it into the channel over the window. For the last step, align the hook and loop and roll it into place. Repeat all the steps on the other side of the Jeep. Now you're finally ready to close the Sunrider. Close the latch, make sure you open it all the way to extend the hook to grab the footman loop and then push to close. The last step is going to be installing the jumper harness to the Trek Top Pro. What you'll see is a large plug and a washer fluid delivery hose that attach to the harness on the vehicle. And on the other end, you have the smaller clip for the optional wiper motor the two tabs for the rear defroster on the hard glass rear window and the squirter hose for the optional wiper kit. Install the jumper wire harness into the vehicle wiring harness and attach the washer hose. Your Jeep may come with an adapter that you have to remove to complete that step. The jumper harness comes with two leads for the defroster a long one will get run to the opposite side of the vehicle. The short one clips to the near side. And the optional wiper motor harness and hose can be put in place for when you install the motor kit. If you want to close this off, use a zip tie to pinch that in case you accidentally trigger the washer fluid. A feature of the Trek Top Pro wiring harness is if you want to remove the window, there's a quick disconnect here where you can remove the defroster grid without having to remove the terminal. To run the jumper harness up to the window, we include some clips that you can secure to the inside of the halo. Thanks for joining us today for the installation of the Trek Top Pro. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Give Best Top Customer Service a call. Until then, I hope you have a great time enjoying your new product.